green flag on the feature at Cedar Lake Speedway. Logan Shuhart leads into turn one. Brad Sweet comes after him on the top of the speedway. Sweet drives by to take command at the end of the back straightaway. Shuhart back to the bottom of the racetrack, but the big cat leads Lemon One trouble behind them. Cars collected, all kinds of cars involved in the accident over in turn number four. Caution on the speedway. We'll take a look at the Dirt Vision replay and see if we can determine just what happened. Tim's and Schatz were together and everybody else with nowhere to go. Green flag waving again at Cedar Lake Speedway. Side by side down the front stretch. Logan Shuhart low, Brad Sweet up high. Rico Avery right there as well. Shuhart leads into turn three. The big cat goes to the top of the racetrack trying to drive around him on the outside, but Shark Racing 1S leads the opening lap. Sweet second challenge by Rico Abreu now out of turn two. Abreu on the top, first and second down low, and just as I say that, Shuhart drifts high coming out of turn four. Sam Hafer deep running in the fourth spot, side by side behind him. Side by side action, good stuff toward the front of the field as well. Cars all over the Cedar Lake Speedway, caution on the speedway. Cars sideways, multiple cars, once are upside down over in turn number Three, it's the three Zia Brock Zirfoss, also involved Giovanni Selzy, Robbie Price, ready to go green. Shuhart retains the lead. Three car battle for second. Avery, a quick peek to the inside of Sweet, couldn't do anything there. The Big Cat now down low in one and two, but can't rest the top spot away from the Shark Racing 1S. Now Avery coming back at Sweet on the inside in three and four. Sweet to the cushion in one and two. He's got a big run down the back straightaway, ducks to the inside of the speedway, takes the lead into turn three. Shuhart trying to cross back underneath him, but Brad Sweet will lead lap number seven. Logan Shuhart back to the bottom in one and two, but Brad Sweet has the lead, and now Rico Abreu gaining on the Shark Racing 1S. Abreu to the top side of the speedway in three and four, turns the car hard to the left, can't get by on the inside. On the move on the inside of the speedway, James McFadden move him by Carson Macedo, J-Mac up to seventh, Macedo right back to his inside, McFadden back underneath him on a turn two. They got very, very close there. Bill Baylog and James McFadden going at it, for a spot in sixth, car slowing. It is the 41 of course of Macedo. Macedo extremely slow at the end of the front straightaway. Brad Sweet waits and now accelerates to bring us back under green flag conditions. Rico Abreu to the inside of Logan Shuhart for second and looking for the lead in one and two, and he's got it. Only momentarily, perhaps, Rico Abreu led for about 85 feet in turns one and two. Now ducks to the inside of Brad Sweet coming out of four, but Brad Sweet maintains the top spot. Rico Abreu right there with him. Abreu looking for a run out of corner number two. Abreu to the inside of the racetrack. Not enough room to try a slider there. The Big Cat maintains the top spot. Meanwhile, Logan Shuart to the inside of Rico Abreu. Logan back to second in car number 1S. Caution on the speedway. Flat right rear for the 24 of Rico Abreu. David Gravel on the bottom, look for second, couldn't take it. J-Mac and Spencer Baston side by side into turn three for the fourth spot. Sheldon Hodden should way down low on the speedway. Wheelies out of turn four, makes it a three car battle for fourth and give it to Sheldon out of turn two. Sheldon Hodden should out of the Federated Car Care Work Zone and into fourth. Sweet continues to lead. Spencer based him back to the inside of Hottenshield, looking for the fourth spot, trying to take it back, can't get it done in one and two. David Gravel with a run out of turn four. He'll close on Shuhart, follows him into turn one. Shuhart has a good run through turn one, but Gravel's got momentum off the bottom in turn number two, and he'll take second as they roll into corner three. David Gravel up to second now. Shuhart tries to take it back from him on the inside, and he gets the pass made. Logan Shuhart back to second. Gravel to the inside once again. David Gravel second as they reach turn three. Logan Shuhart another run on Gravel. Fantastic racing for second. Shuhart's got the spot back. And now Gravel runs in the side once again. And now Sheldon Hunt should right there with both of them. Three car battle for the second spot into turn one. Sheldon Hodden showed to the cushion, over the cushion, loses ground there. 
Sheldon Heidenshield bobbled on the cushion, and now Spencer Beeston around him on the outside. Spencer up to the fourth spot. Logan Shewhart back by David Gravel for second. Gravel trying to reclaim the spot into turns one and two. Logan Shewhart second at the end of the backstretch. One lap to go at Cedar Lake Speedway. Shewhart to the inside out of turn two, and maybe a run down the back straightaway. Into three and four for the final time. Brad Sweet, Logan Shewhart to the checkered flag. It will be the big cat on night one at Cedar Lake. And the big cat climbs up top of the VP Fuels checkered flag and the Hoosier tire neck band to celebrate. Yeah, you know when you're struggling to get by the lap cars that, that they're coming behind you. Um, and I just felt like I was getting a little too free and, and not getting off the corners. And this place has slick straightaways. So when you don't get off the corners right, uh, you, you really get spinning. And uh, luckily I just tried to keep my calm as best I could and just tried to make the best bas last lap I could. I think it was just good enough. You know, I could hear him off my left rear, but luckily Craig was so good on the bottom, I could just kind of, you know, stay off his right rear. But we got a little work to do to get better tomorrow. But hey, seven wins here, that's, that's pretty special. Nap Auto Parts guys, we always bring a good race car, and uh, this track fits my style. So just happy to, to get a win. It's been a, you know, not, we haven't won in a little bit, so it's nice to get, get back up here and get a win, get some confidence. So uh, just a nice night for the guys. Obviously, I want to say hi to uh, my daughter, Savannah, and wife back home. Yeah, you're just, you know, it, this place changes a lot. You know, uh, it can go from the bottom to the top, back to the bottom. Um, you know, it even can get a little bit of, you know, a little bit clean into three there. Um, you know, but you, you can judge yourself off the lap cars. And the fact that Craig was driving back by me, uh, you know, was, was making me not feel very good about, you know, what I was doing. But when I would go to try to run the bottom, I either wasn't patient enough or, or just wasn't good enough to stick down there. So just try to keep my momentum up and try to, you know, kind of get off turn four as good as I could. And, and kind of trying to find a line that was work for me in, uh, in one and two. So, um, hey, all, we, all you got to do is get the win. That doesn't matter by how much, and uh, it all still uh, it pays good, and we'll come back tomorrow uh, and try to be just a little bit better. For live coverage of every World of Outlaws event and for extended on-demand race content, visit DirtVision.com. For full race results, features, and series news, visit WorldOfOutlaws.com. Thank <laughs> you.